Hi, my name is Dave Seed from Skyworks Solutions. With me here today we have Tom Valencia and Xu Ping. We're going to talk about some of the newest, latest, greatest uh, broadband uh, products that Skyworks has released over the last year. Can you go through the next? Can you? Okay, just a quick brief overview on Skyworks. Skyworks Solutions is a large semiconductor OEM supplier known for cellular power amplifier modules, switches, diodes, and other discrete devices. We, we do have HPT gas fabs, silicon fabs, and located and cover uh, products globally throughout the world. So as we look at the markets that Skyworks services, we are known as a handset supplier. We also sell into base stations, military radios, medical, automotive, test and measurements. We also are a major supplier globally of Wi-Fi products from 802.11bg, ACNN. So what we're going to talk about here today is some of the newer families of LN8 devices, some of the newer high power switches, limiter diodes, as well as mixer products. Hi, my name is Tom Valencia, application engineer. Um, I'm going to talk to you about our LNAs today. Uh, most of our most of our LNAs, uh, we have a very good. We provide very high gain, uh, very ultra, very low noise LNAs uh, in our portfolio, and we characterize them all the way up to 105 degrees centigrade. Uh, we also design for ruggedness designs um, to make sure that our LNAs can survive harsh environments. Uh, and of course, we design for uh, exceptionally high temperature uh, for reliability um, purposes. So on this slide, I'd like to uh, show you our PHAMP uh, discrete LNAs. Uh, we have basically three different groups of LNAs that we can offer. We have the very low, low noise LNAs, the 67100 series. Um, for the second uh, batch here, we have the uh, high IP3, high linearity LNAs, the 67020 series and uh, uh, 67100 series. And lastly, uh, on the bottom here, we have the high gain LNAs, the 67105, 106, and 107. So any of these combination, uh, you can probably find uh, any LNA that you might need for your application. Let me start off with one of our newer LNAs that we uh, announced today. Um, we have the 67153. Uh, this is a 2x2 two two, uh, packaged LNA and a very wide band. It can cover from uh, 700 megahertz up to 3700 megahertz. Uh, 3700 megahertz. And um, what's good about this is it has really high IP3. Um, we spec it at 30 plus 36 dBm IP3 at 2500 megahertz and very low noise figure. So the combination of very low noise figure and high linearity makes a very good um, LNA for those uh, ultra high performance applications like macro base stations, but not limited to infrastructure applications. So we're showing here that the 67153 can be tuned from 700 to 3800 megahertz. And with, with each matching, we can have a noise figure of 0 0.25 dB down to uh, up to 0.7 dB of noise figure. Yeah. This is the second part, the 67150, which is a lower uh, version of the 153. This will work down from 300 megahertz to 2200 megahertz. And it, it also has very low noise figure and high linearity uh, as compared to the 153. Um, we can get up to 0.23 dB of noise figure with um, IP3 up to plus 36 dBm. Now for our low cost, um, uh, low cost solutions, we have the 67-1X uh, series. Uh, these uh, will operate from uh, 300 megahertz up to 3 gigahertz uh, in the same family. All are pin-to-pin -pin compatible. Um, you'll notice that the noise figure is still sub 1 dB um, with a very good P1 dB uh, from up to 16 dBm. 
Um, well, you also notice that if you visit our website, we'll, we'll have a lot of um, uh, tools that for designers. They, we have the data sheets, not only the data sheets, but we also have ADS design kits. Um, we have uh, S parameters available and also uh, eval board uh, schematics or, or Gerber files that you may need if you're designing one of our LNAs into, our, into your application. So go ahead and please visit our, our, our website and uh, you'll see a lot of the tools there. Um, also, I'd like to add this in. Uh, at our Skyworks uh, booth, we have the demo for the Sky 67, 153, and 150, measuring IP3 and um, the noise figure. Because seeing is believing. If you want to see a 0.25 dB noise figure LNA, you, you want to come to our booth. Shooting, I believe it's My name is Xu Ping Zhang, application engineer from Skyworks. Um, today, I want to give you a brief introduction of our uh, uh, high power switch. Um, you know, Skyworks, we, we based on alpha industry, the legacy of our alpha industry. We have um, um, our diodes and that uh, uh, we have high power switch uh, uh, product line. So, firstly, so what's the uh, application scenario for the uh, high power switch? Uh, here is the uh, typical transceiver uh, block diagram. You see that uh, in the broad market, that uh, the, in the, uh, the right of the antenna, you see the single pole Douglas through switch. Well, that's where the, uh, the TR switch will be used. And uh, there's a uh, go to the next slide that there's. There's different market, the infrastructure, uh, military, and the aerospace domain. The hyper switch finds its applications everywhere. The application, like I said, fuel safe switch and TR switch, um, we have 150 watts, up to 150 watts, 150 watts um, uh, uh, high power switch. The frequencies are cover 20 megahertz to up to 4 gigahertz. Here is the product list, the high power switch we are offering as today. As you can see, the first generation is the Sky uh, 1227. It's in mass production. It's a single pole double through uh, 50 watts high power switch. Uh, very low insertion loss and uh, high isolation. Uh, the maximum power handling is 47 watts, and this part is released in, in mass production. The second generation is the uh, 100 watts uh, Sky 12 to 10, which is also a single pole toggle through switch. It's covered frequency, uh, different frequency band, uh, tw uh, tw 20, uh, 900 megahertz, 4, 4 gigahertz. Um, it's uh, 0 0.5 dB insertion loss and uh, 42 dB isolation. That's the best in class. Uh, and also we offer the symmetric uh, for the uh, uh, symmetric version, which is a Sky 209. Sky 209. It's 40 watts switch. The third generation is the 150 watts switch. Is a Sky uh, 213. The single pole, single through switch as well as the 12 to, uh, to 15 is single port double through 125 watt switch but it can handle the maximum power 150 watts next yeah. the, the, this is the first generated 50 watt uh, single port double through pin diode switch um, it's a uh, cover frequency band of 90 to 90, 900 megahertz to 4 gigahertz it's 4 by 4 KFN package. Uh, it's off for extremely high isolation and high, uh, high linearity, the IP3 78 dBm. And here is the, uh, our, the, the, the board, is uh, the evaluation board and the driver circuit. Um, on the left side, you can see this is a single port double through 50 watt high power switch. On the right side is a driver circuit that, um, that a scour, a scour cause we designed that that facilitates the uh, easy use of a part. But the demo board is available uh, upon request. Here is a plot of the insertion loss and return loss. You can see that it's, um, at uh, the insertion loss here is uh, at uh, one one gig. It's it's point two five dB. It's a broadband. It's cover five hundred megahertz to three point five gigahertz in this very good uh, input output uh, return loss. Here is the plot of the power handling. You can see that at 
at uh, 20 the ball and five ball and, and different currents, the different power handling. It's a customer sometimes use different uh, voltage, five ball or 20 the ball. That these plots will uh, provide the convenience of a customer application. This is the second, I just mentioned the second generation, uh, 100 watts uh, Sky 12 to 10. Uh, high power switch, low insert, seen loss at 0.5 dB, high oscillation 45 dB, and the extreme high linearity with input IP3 of 78 dBm. Here's a plot of the, the performance. You can see the insertion loss, isolation, and as well as the power handling, the input power at 48 dBm with the 0.1 dB compression. Ex extremely uh, linear device and high power handling. Cause this is third generation 1205. Like I said, it's a handling power of 125 watts. That's 85 deg degrees say base plate. Um, this is also offer extremely low insertion loss of 0.5 dB, high insertion loss, and good linearity. They're also capable of uh, different uh, operating voltage, 5 volt and 28 volt. We have app application nodes available that, uh, the, for upon request, and uh, we have the application um, circuit uh, evaluation board all available. As you can see, that uh, the uh, offer everything from BOM to the uh, um, Gerber file and the schematic we can offer as a package to customer. Just fairly easy to design. Next one. This shows the block diagram of the um, the driver circuit. Uh, this customer use this one to drive the single port double through in the TDD application. That we have the uh, driver circuit uh, reference schematic for you, for customer. Our limiter, limiter, limiter diode is, uh, has been uh, around for many years. Based on the likes of RFI industry, we have a very good uh, controlled process that producing the uh, different threshold of limiter circuit. This one ensures that we, as of today, that the limiter is all pretty much discrete. Um, so we offer a new product. It's just a new release. We integrate the um, RF choke into the one package. Uh, typically, customer need uh, for a discrete design. Customer need to put an external inductor for the DC ground return. So at Skyworks, so we uh, came up with idea that we integrate the uh, the choke inside one package and uh, integrate the DC blocks just for customer easy to use. Uh, this you just can just drop in and you don't have to do any matching. And yes, it's a, it's a broadband. It's a 16602, it's a broadband, 200 megahertz and 4 gigahertz. It's a very, very small size. It's 2.3 by 2.3 millimeters. Offer the insertion loss at 2.5 gigahertz is a half dB. And uh, the, for this limiter, the threshold power is a 5 dBm. And very good input output match. Like I said, this is really provide the convenience that customer don't have to do external matching. It achieved the return loss of greater than 25 dB. All right, uh, next we'll um, pass to Tom Lavancy to talk about the uh, mixers. Thank you. I'd like, we, I'd like to introduce to you uh, three devices uh, of mixer, broadband mixers. The Sky 73, 4, 20, 21, and 22. Um, these mixers are, are for diversity mixers, um, ideal for multi-grade uh, carriers, uh, 2G, 3G, 4G uh, base stations. So we have on the mixers, we have the integrated uh, LO drivers, uh, we have also uh, RF balance, um, and also high linear IF amplifiers built into one MCM. So these are uh, very good uh, mixers that can cover uh, from 650 megahertz up to 2700 megahertz. All the three mixers have the same footprint and, and, and are available now for sampling and are already in production. Yeah, Skyworks also has a family of power management products. So we thought we'd take a minute to talk about some of the LED drivers, backlight display products battery management, PMUs, 
voltage regulators are power protection devices. This was an acquisition over the last year and a half, so it really extends Skyworks position beyond the RF world that we are known for into the power management area. So to close on this, thank you for your time. Um, I think it's good for marketing to speak, but there's nothing like having the applications designers up here that have developed these products. We are developing more and more broad frequency products for the microwave market. We're announcing these products through new product brochures. We also ask you to please opt into a new product uh, campaign so that you will receive announcements on new products. It, it enables you to click to re get technical information or receive a sample. You can view this on your iPhone and get a sample delivered the next day. So thank you very much for your time.